Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Like Me and Easy. Sorry for the late upload. That guy's just been uh, busy with some stuff. So finally getting around to doing this video. Um, so guys, the basis of this video is just like, I'm looking for a new laptop uh, just to get more productivity and stuff done. Um, I'm looking for something that has a really good graphics card as well as a good CPU, decent storage, decent RAM and all that stuff. And I was looking at this one and I, the point of this video is basically like, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this laptop. Um, I did a brief overview of this laptop a little while ago. Um, I really enjoyed it uh, based on the specs. I've been looking up some reviews. Uh, most for the majority, most people say it's an excellent laptop. Uh, the reviews here also support that claim. That's 4.4 4 out of five stars on Amazon. And I really like this configuration. The only downside about this configuration, it's only got eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. However, that can be upgraded to 16 gigabytes. Um, now I have heard that it's also a downside that it's only, uh, what's it called? Single channel RAM, so it's not dual channel. Um, but I don't think that makes too much of a difference. Um, maybe it does. You guys let me know in the uh, comment section down below. So I really like the look of this laptop. Really sleek, doesn't scream gamer as much as other gaming laptops. Pretty slim bezels on the side, top and bottom are like somewhat thick, but not that bad. Um, I really like the gunmetal brush here. Overall, I think it's solid. It's got a, although it's not an i7, it is a uh, ninth gen i5, which should be pretty powerful. And then the main thing I like here is that it's got a GTX 1650. Now, bear in mind, it's, uh, it's the mobile version of it. You're not getting the actual GTX 1650, like the giant graphics card in this thing. Um, they have to dumb it down just a little bit for um, a laptop because obviously it can't fit in this compact body unless it's not a mobile version. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think, if this laptop's worth it, or if you guys have another suggestion. Uh, for me, I really want something that has a good graphics card, um, something that has good Wi-Fi connection, a decent screen. I mean, obviously I don't care about like 4K screens or anything. Decent keyboard, a good processor, um, and decent storage just for when I'm like editing videos and storing files on my computer. I need a decent amount of memory. I mean, I do have a external hard drive, but um, I would also like good uh, memory on my laptop or storage um, and decent IO. The IO in here is like not the best, but it's like decent. The one downside is it doesn't have an SD card reader, but you can always buy just a adapter for that. You know what I mean? So, and I really like Lenovo is a well-known brand. I mean, like this is, this is not like some coming from some random brand, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this um, or if you think there's a better alternative out there. As I said, I want something that's for productivity as well as gaming. Um, I know most of you guys are probably going to recommend, I've heard this a thousand times, oh, go just go buy your own like desktop PC. Well, I'm not in the market for a desktop PC right now. Um, that's later down the line when I'm when I have like more space and stuff like that right now my setup is kind of compact um, i don't really have full i don't have a lot of room for like a full desktop pc at the moment um, i just want to stick to a laptop a uh, powerful laptop at that and i have a pretty strict budget i'm not paying over probably like 900 bucks that's the top of the line i'd ever spend on a laptop um, after that you're just getting ridiculous um, i mean the specs the, the benefits from the specs are so marginal at that point that's not re really worth it in my opinion um, so yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below what you think of this laptop. I'd love to hear um, everyone's thoughts on this. Uh, so uh, for the, I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video from Life Made Easy.